Hi everybody, and I wanted to go ahead and go through a declutter with me with the Declutter Clean Organize slightly with me on my under the bar cabinets. These cabinets, when I moved in in 2008, I just went ahead and started throwing things in there. I tried to make it somewhat of an organized area, but over the years, I just, this was like a no man's land. Nothing really, I did not have designated stuff to go in here. So I just either forgot about it or it just sat back here. So since I have now four cats living inside, I actually do order a lot more food and I do it monthly so that way I'm not having to go to the grocery store all the time. And I wanted to go ahead and make a full designated area for all the cat supplies because I do order a lot of cat food and a lot of canned food because it's not just the four inside, it's at least three outside. It's the neighborhood cats and possums also eat the food outside. So I just keep everything inside. That way it's more temperature controlled and not getting bad while sitting outside in the garage. Before, all of this was just a big mess and nothing quite right. The three drawers did have somewhat of an organized catch-all type stuff. This one was all cat supplies. This one had candles and candle jars, votive holders, that type of stuff. And this one had playing cards, birthday decorations for balloons, and also like Febreze and wax melts and all types of things. I I'm going to show you beforehand and while I'm decluttering and then once I got in there and cleaned and everything.
I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder. And the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. I initially started out with my all-purpose cleaner which is the Mrs. Myers and the Honeysuckle scent and when I saw that the paper towel was coming up black, brown almost black, I decided I wanted to move on to something a little bit stronger so I went and got a bowl of water and Dawn dish soap and once I did that and cl started cleaning everything with a sponge it actually was doing a lot better than just the regular all-purpose cleaner. I'm not quite sure when this the bottom part of this cabinet was ever cleaned out, if it was ever cleaned out in the past 40 something years. So it was probably a lot of dirt and grime from all the years of us living there. And I know when I was a kid, my parents actually put our toys under there. So we would, and then they had the couch in the opposite direction and we would be able to pull all of our toys out and play behind the couch back there. Uh, but now it's just my, it's going to be my cat area. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I will take off and find something greener, greener than gold. There's no 
passion in the comatose Baby going down, down, down Baby going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat We keep moving like the river goes Baby going down, down, down Baby going down, 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 down And I thought it's time Here is a run through of what I have done and it is a dark cavernous area. I do plan on painting the back wall back there. It's basically from what I can see it was the drywall with the mud that they put on there and they didn't even sand the mud and then they just painted it a brown like poop brown kind of well maybe it's not poop brown. it's a light brown type it's dark so I'd like to paint it probably when I go to repaint the walls in the living room I will repaint it the same color in there so it will be a lighter color and on this wall it's a brick wall because it's the fireplace so in this part of the cabinet I wanted to keep it mainly open right here because I do have back there the gas turn off and shut off for the fireplace so my fireplace is a gas starter wood burning so I, it basically has a gas pipe that runs through and I can start that to keep the, to light the wood. So I don't have to deal with kindling or trying to light the fire on with, all, you know, <laughs> Girl Scout, Boy Scout type stuff. So I wanted to keep that part of it clear because it is something that's important in case I have to light fires. And since we're moving into spring, summer, I'm not going to have to worry about that pretty much but I'd like to have it available in case I need to do something with it. So back in the corner, I have some fish tanks that were for my beta fishes. So they were one gallon fish tanks. And I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and get any more betas. I'm probably gonna wait until these guys, the cats, are a little bit older because um, if I get them again, because these guys are, they need to calm down. <laughs> They're still kittens, so yes. There'll be a year in May, the weekend of Mother's Day. They'll be a year old. So besides that, I have cat wipes back here as well. And then I have the refills for the air deterrent, basically. These kittens get into a lot of things that they're not supposed to, including the laundry room and destroying the piping for the, the vent exhaust for the dryer as well as getting up on top of bookcases and refrigerators and getting into, they just get into everything. And I'm not used to that because of my 13, almost 14 year old cat is not a jumper. So she, she pretty much is content to being right now, she's underneath the couch sleeping or she'll be content laying on the couch or she's just content sleeping because she's older. And then back in the back area, it is, cat grass stuff and um, like scratching, the cardboard scratching replacements for the circle with the ball and the some other stuff. So that's all that I have in there. So in this cabinet, let's see if we, there we go. It's, <laughs> and because my Older cat does have food allergies. She can't eat any fish type food. So we have to get the tur chicken and turkey and chicken and all of that stuff because she can't have fish stuff or else she will be throwing up every hour on the hour and it's rather annoying. 
in this cabinet, it's more of the food right here on this side that just kind of just save room. I just pushed it over. And then I have three of the cat crates, one with a blanket in there. And that's because occasionally the cats like to lay on those lay on this but he hasn't been laying on it so I'm kind of putting it away to see if he wants anything and then the fourth door I have the smaller kennel and that works best for the one female outside cat because she can't the bigger ones work best for I mean the boys walk right into the kennels <laughs> they have no no fear of the kennels they walk right in and I shut the door and we're on our way my older cat it's easier to get her in the door even though she's a smaller cat it's just easier to get her in the door the outside female cat she is very skittish and having the smaller one it, it smaller entryway it actually helps me like put my hand in there to shut the door as I'm shoving, so she can't jump over. So, and then of the course the piping. So you kind of can see there the paler color and that's that pale, per, um, not purple, but brown. And it's, I, I need to paint it cause it needs to be, it needs to be pretty. So in here in this drawer, I have catnip spray, I have batteries for laser pointers, cat grass replacements, cat toys right here. One of them needs to be repaired. <laughs> and then I have medicines down here. And I need a, okay, I have a big scoop. I have a little canister for a litter scoop holder, a kind of a grooming stuff so this is all grooming right here soft paws flea all of that feel away or fell away however you want to call it these are for the to keep my older cat a little bit happier and then down here that is like a casting system to get a basically an imprint of your pet's paw and then I have the poop bags that I use when I run out of the, the litter genie bags. This is the stopper for the bar sink that's right here. The cats like to, the kittens like to pull that out. Then I have leashes, collars, and then a harness. And that is everything. And then up here, I am going to donate this because I don't have a dog. So I'm going to donate it to one of the, the animal shelters around here. Okay. Then here are all the candles that I'm moving elsewhere. And then all the wax melts and sprays and all of that I'm moving somewhere else. Because they don't need to be down here anymore. So that is the what I've done with the under the bar cabinet. We're gonna see how well this works, but I basically won't have to come back here very often, except for when I have to get some cat food and you know grooming supplies, and that's really easy because I do have a chair that kind of sits right where I'm sitting, and I can still walk by it to get back here. But I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting on the built-in desk that's right across from me, <laughs> right behind the camera. And I need to actually kind of organize that, the bookcase part of it and the cabinet, the desk part, and make it look a little nicer because right now it looks horrible. And I will turn you around so you can see. Up on the top shelf, I have a whole bunch of birthday angels that I actually want to move, I think, into my office, into the top shelf of the glassed in bookcases that I have so that way I'm not having to dust them as often because up there they're just kind of they're in the open and I'd like to actually put them behind stuff and that's really my only collectibles that I have and I do like to have them out in the open then the next shelf I have six boxes that have DVDs of movies I have a whole bunch of more DVDs they're in my guest closet 
guest bedroom closet right now and I don't know what I'm going to do with those but I kind of want to move them and then I have other things candles and all of that stuff up there and the next shelf down I am I have a bunch of games and they're the bookshelf games so they look like books and other there's stuff that needs to be donated up there trashed there are coloring books up there picture of my grandfather all that stuff then down below on the actual desktop it's some of the stuff that I've pulled from the under the bar cabinet so I am gonna go ahead and try to get those into places Come home to me once you travel the world all the spaces inside your heart I'm out. 
Okay, I did end up kind of decluttering and reorganizing the entertainment center. So I have pulled this mat. It's one of the Dance Dance Revolution or Just Dance mats for the Wii. And I pulled it out from underneath the bar and I needed to put it over here, but it would not fit in any of the drawers down on the bottom. So I put it up here and these are actually board games that I have wrapped in uh, craft paper. And I'm eventually gonna go ahead and print out labels to put on here so that it tells me what they are. And then behind here, it's hard to see. Uh, for now, I have put my box of cables and cords and everything back in behind there so I don't really have to look at it. I really don't like seeing this up here, but I'm okay with it for now. <laughs> it won't last for very long. So then down here we have the TV and then I have my Wii, which I will eventually, when I go and re do all the cables and cords behind the TV, I will move the Wii back down here with my Apple TV and I just placed a candle that I don't know where to put it right now. My Super Nintendo is down here. VCR and DVD player. I still do have VC, uh, VHS tapes and <laughs> DVDs so I keep those because there are some movies that I can't get on DVD or digital that are on VHS. So down here I have, <laughs> way back here in the back, and I don't know if I can get it out, it is a, and I don't even know if I, if I have a Game Boy still, I have to go look, but this was a Game Boy holder, so the Game Boy, the old school Game Boy, like the original Game Boy, would sit right here, and these are original Game Boy games. And I also have on the Super Nintendo the cartridge, the Super Game Boy cartridge right here, where I can actually play the games on the Super Nintendo. So let's see, what games do I have? I have Darkwing Duck. Yes, Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Super Mario Land, the Six Golden Coins, Donkey Kong. Wario Land, Home Alone 2, and Kirby's Dream Land, and then Super Mario Land right here. Okay. So. And eventually I'll be moving the stuff that's back here, but it is like owner's manuals for all the Game Boy, Nintendo, all of that stuff. And then I found these graphics on Facebook and it's stretching exercises and it's stuff like, did you know doing this pose a few minutes per day, it reduces relaxation, relieves stress and lifts mood, stretches the spine, shoulders, lower back and hamstrings, st stimulates organs, including intestines, kidneys, livers, livers, liver, ovaries and uterus, helps relieve symptoms of menstrual discomfort. And it's a whole bunch of little graphics that basically say what the stretches do. And I have tried to incorporate some of these stretches into while I'm sitting here watching TV. So that's why I keep it down here. Now in this basket, and it's just a regular, regular basket, and it fits perfectly there. I did not measure any of this or any of it. I have all of my Nintendo DS games, and I have Brain Age, Brain Age 2, Mario Kart, Mystery Case Files, Million Hair, <laughs> uh, Sherlock Holmes and the Mystery of Osborne House, Super Mario 64 DS. Those are my DS games. And then for the Super Nintendo, and of course they're all in alphabetical order now, because I am that way, we have Buster Bunnies, Buster Bus Loose. So. Um, Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, Super Mario Kart, and Super Mario World. I grew up with the Super Mario Kart, so 
I have Super Mario Kart and all of the game, all the game systems that I have. Now, some of the workout DVDs that I have. This one was one that was through one of my insurance providers. It was a free service. They basically took it out of my monthly or out of my deductible, forty nine dollars or something like that every single month out of my deductible, and it has a bunch of different DVDs in here for stretching. And this was a really good plan. I it was like real appeal is the plan. And I don't know if my insurance company now, I tried to attach my insurance company now to it and it doesn't, it can't find my insurance company or my plan. So I don't know if I can use it anymore or if it's still even valid, but that plan, it's basically, they sent me a scale, a blender, a, a weight scale, like a food scale as well. Um, exercise equipment. And by exercise, it was like, the, the bands, a ball, things like that. Then the other one is Denise Austin's 10 week plan. It's a bunch of exercises, levels one, two, and three. So depending on how well you're working. And then I bought this way long ago before yoga burn was a thing. And I have tried one, but haven't gotten very far. So for the Wii, and then down here in between all of the workout stuff, I have yoga gloves and socks toe socks to when i'm on the my when i'm sweating my hands like to my hands and feet like to slide when i'm in the downward dog uh so that's i keep those down here for the we i have dance dance revolution hottest party three just dance two mario kart we play then this is Wii Sports that came with my Wii. And then Wii Your Shape with Jenny McCarthy. And that one, it had a camera. It was hard because this room wasn't big enough for the camera. So I still have it. Really don't need it. Okay. In this drawer, I have a charging cable for my phone or iPad. That's with the three meter cord. So that way I can stretch it out for long distances down here and then a lighter to light the candles and in this basket and yet again no measuring I just kind of had these baskets and I used them and they work perfectly in here so between the baskets I have the support if I put the Wii up on its side it's the, the little sleeve that it would slide into down here but since I have it laying on its side I don't need that right now in this basket, I have the Wii controllers, and I have two, two Mario Kart wheels, the boxing, one of the boxing things, uh, an extra USB, it's a USB to a USB-C, I'm not sure, and then this is the camera for that, the, the one thing that I had over here that was the one, the, what is it? The Jenny McCarthy move thing. So the wheels down there. And more than likely, I haven't played the Wii in a long time. I'd like to play it, but like I said, all the stuff is not connected correctly. So in this basket, and it's the same type of basket as this one, this is an extra holder for my Nintendo DS, and it has the charger. I just emptied it out. Extra game sleeves. If I choose to use this as my, when I'm using my DS. This one is another DS holder. And I have a little microfiber to wipe the screen. The little pins to go with it. The DS is right there. And I know almost everybody has the, the new one that Animal Crossings is on, but I have not bought that because I just, since I have all this other stuff, I really don't need that one. So then here's all of my games that I've taken out of the cartons over here. And then this just wraps around with a leather strap. So. 
And then I have the controllers for the Super Nintendo. Back here. Now, before I cleaned all of this stuff out, or these drawers out, I did have, at one point, I had a mini shelf system on the top of this, and it still had tape decks in there. So I have Carol King. Interesting music taste. Yes, I know. New Kids on the Block, Hanging Tough. Tape, tape. <laughs> And then New Kids on the Block. This is, I think, just the regular New Kids on the Block that has. Um, Don't Give Up on Me, Treat Me Right, Stop It Girl, Be My Girl. Those are on that one. And then this one, New Kids on the Block, Step by Step. I was a New Kids on the Block fan. In Excess, Kick. Gotta love my 80s. Tiffany. Yeah, yeah. And then Bette Medler, we got this as my mom went and saw one of her concerts, or yeah, my mom got tickets and we went and saw one of Bette Midler's concert and with the tickets came CDs. And uh, so I have the CD actually downloaded into my computer now. And Bette Midler is just another classic. So I'm not gonna get rid of the tapes because the tapes are still like sentimental. So I'll keep those with my VHS tapes that are there. Let's see, screwdriver. I had a belt to a skirt that is back in my, and I used this when I was doing yoga as a kind of, you put your foot through it and you pull your leg to help kind of stretch when I can't sometimes reach my, depending on the, <laughs> how I'm feeling that day, sometimes I can't actually reach my feet to pull so that's a little tool to help pull and stretch a little bit. Now the stuff I'm getting rid of, and let me move you over. So I'm getting rid of, this is gonna go back into the closet with the skirt and the screwdriver I had because I needed to um, reattach some of the hookups. Okay, so what I'm throwing away I found these pieces. I'm not throwing these away. These are the, the supports for the entertainment center to actually like bolt it to the wall so it doesn't move. I found an old Texas map that I really, it was free when I did something. I found some old cards in here. So, and And then back when the Wii, you were able to do Netflix through the Wii without having anything. This was the CD that I had to have in the Wii to actually get to Netflix to watch, to stream stuff. I don't need this anymore since I have the Apple TV. So it's kind of basically to toss. And then I have a very old map of the area that I live in. And it's mainly, I use this for the green belts. But all of that is online now on Google Maps, so I don't need that anymore. <laughs> and then this is one of the 10 pin to USB. When I had the old iPods, I don't need that anymore. I have the, an old iHome that was a to-go. It's a, I don't I don't do this. I listen to my earbuds or put it on the big TV and listen to it that way. This was the antenna, the AM antenna for my the mini shelf system that I have already thrown away. So, <laughs> trash. I found a hanger. And this was the hanger that held my yoga, it's not a mat, but a towel that you can use when you're traveling to do yoga in the, so you have something to put on the floor between you and the floor when you're doing yoga in like the hotel. So don't need this. And this is yet again, another charger, 10 pin charger. I probably could keep this charger. Nope, because it's the old school <laughs> USB. I mean, old. This was, pro this was probably like one of my first app, the iPhone, or not iPhone, but um, iPods. And then 
I have no idea what this is. It has lithium battery on it. I have no idea what it goes to. It is sticky. It's like the back of a remote. Telephone. I don't know, but it's sticky and it's, I'm getting rid of it as well. It's sticky. So, and while I was in there, I dusted, but like I said, I need to actually pull the TV halfway out and get in behind and redo all the wiring because it's pretty bad. I did, when I had the entertainment, the mini shelf system, I had it wired to the audio so that the audio could go through that. And now that I've gotten rid of it, it's kind of, I need to figure out what's going on behind the TV. And since it's pretty much hidden, I never really think about it, but it's time for me to actually get that organized and get it at least looking pretty back there and where I can tell what is what. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and I'm gonna move on.